Hey guys, I'm Jam of JamOnline.ph and today we will be unboxing the Asus Cerberus Gaming Keyboard. So this is one of the most affordable gaming keyboard uh, that you could get right now. It's from Asus, so this I guess, I'm, as far as I know, this is their most affordable gaming keyboard. So this is the Asus Cerberus, it's not part of the ROG lineup, but it's still for gaming. And um, it has some pretty awesome features including the LED backlit, we all need that one, we all play and uh, we use our computers at night when there's no light you know anyway um there's also the full secc metal plates that i'm gonna show you uh, later on there's the splash proof design with brain hole i'm gonna show that one to you later on too and then there's the 12 macro keys uh there's the fully rubberized feet uh so you know it's really an awesome features that you would get for 1670 pesos i'm not sure why there's 70 pesos there's a brotherhood knight uh, i'm gonna play fallout 4 again um for this one so i'm gonna use this one and also the mouse for uh you know for gaming and then um let's unbox this one so let's see what can we what can we get on this mouse? Well, so by the way, I have the Asus um, GX700 at the back, which is the, uh, one of the most expensive laptops that you would get right now. And then um, we have here um, the uh, Asus Cerberus Gaming Mouse. Ooh, bubbles! Yeah, anyway, so um, this is the gaming keyboard. I'm going to show you that to you later on. Then we have here the VIP member uh, papers, and, uh, the LED backlit, what's this, the quick start guide, and then uh, the user manual. So um, it, there's also a hotkeys, awesome for uh, this one. There's the anti posting for gamers, gamers who should you down that. And then uh, media player, blah blah blah, using swap mode. Alright, so. Uh, Macro mode, so friend FN plus insert and wait for the wind lock key to light up. You know, um, these are the things that you wouldn't read, but um, you know, you need to read that one if you don't know how to add the macro keys. Anyway, I'm gonna, gonna show that to you one because I, I don't use uh, macro keys that much. So, um, yeah, uh, let's place this box at the side. So, um, this is the Asus Cerberus Gaming Keyboard, and I'm gonna show it to you later, uh, later on. And um, just uh, you know, I'm gonna put my camera over here so you could see the keyboard clearly. So give me a second. All right, so we have here the Asus Cerberus Gaming Mouse here, and also the gaming keyboard. One thing that I really like about this one is the, the lights are very bright. You know, um, if I remove the USB, you would notice that. No, look at that one. Look at the lights of the uh, laptop. It's of the keyboard. I'm sorry. It's really awesome. Right. So um, we have here the Cerberus uh, Gaming Keyboard. I'm not sure what does the full SECC metal plate. Where can I found that? Um, I'm not sure where it feels very plastic to me. Uh, although uh, below you could see that it has the orange uh, plastic uh, body, and then we have here the stand. We also have here the drain holes so if you uh, happen to uh, I'm sorry so if you, there's the drain holes there's the stands so if you happen to uh, spill some water on this one that wouldn't be a problem I'm gonna show that to you later on so there's the rubberized um, foot or the rubberized uh, feet I'm sorry rubberized feet of the gaming keyboard then we have here the a Cerberus logo the lum lock cops lock everything we also have here the uh, media buttons one thing that I really like about this laptop is that this one got a media button so I'm gonna show it to you um, a closer look so we have here the media buttons on the top and then uh, we have here the F1 which also F keys or the function keys which also serve serves as the um, macro keys and then we have here on um, the um, all right so I happen to turn on the uh, the, the uh, sound of the Fallout 4 so this is the volume up and volume down and then um, we have the numpad and then um, we, oh, we have a really really nice um, layout of the keyboard here it's really nice although I'm not sure where the full SECC metal plate uh, maybe it's below <laughs> I'm not sure this one feels plastic um, although I really like the design look at that design it 
uh, it's not really my end. Uh, just like the ROG or the Strix doesn't sport the doesn't sport the Mayan look. Uh, just like the ROG line, but uh, still nice. Still nice. Anyway, so I'm not sure why they have here some uh, orange lining here with a uh, hole. Uh, maybe it's just for the design. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, this is the keyboard. It's re so far I really like it. And uh, again, for its price, it's not the best um, gaming keyboard that you could get right now. But for its price, I wouldn't complain. Um, it feels soft, and it's really it's better than using um, the keyboards that I've used before. Except for of course for the me mechanical keyboard. I really like the mechanical keyboards of Asus. Except for the last one that I reviewed. Anyway, um, not so much to see in here, but um, yes, it's plastic. It's good. Um, so let me show you uh, <laughs> this one. I'm really nervous. I have the GX700, so if this one fails, the GX700 will... <laughs> I'm not sure what would happen. Anyway, so again, this one is splash proof, so uh, it has a um, spill uh, protection against this uh, water or spill. So, oh, there we go. Oops, as you could see, uh, there's still the light is still there. Then when you, the uh, keyboard still works, and all that I'm still waiting uh, for the water to come out. Oh, there we go. So um, one thing that you gotta love about this keyboard is that it supports um, two colors. So you could adjust this one. So by pressing this one, you turn it off. Uh, you could turn it on. So pressing FN um, and the uh, that key uh, you could choose the um, breathing uh, light function so if you want to adjust this one all you need to do is to press this one FN and then turn down the brightness or I'm sorry it's really easy to change its color so all you need to do is to press FN and then press caps lock then there we go it's already on blue there's another profile but I really prefer the uh, red one so I all I need to do is press F and plus cops now so um, after that two blinks it's back all right so yeah I guess that's it for the unboxing and short um, hands-on of the Asus Cerberus gaming keyboard I, I'm not sure if you like it but if you do don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet well now is the time to subscribe so once again I'm jumponline.ph and thanks for watching the unboxing hands-on of the Asus Cerberus Gaming Keyboard.